Hey, Eastview family, happy Friday to you. I really, truly hope that this has been a week filled with uh, revelation about who uh, Jesus really is, that there's a new understanding of the Holy Spirit, and that you are sensing that God's moving in the midst of a crazy time. And it's kind of funny, I've been kind of in this spot doing a number of uh, devos lately, and uh, when I do them, it's it's quiet. It's peaceful. It's why I, I choose this spot. Uh, but in reality, this space uh, is actually quite active and it's on our main level of our house. And there's always things going on uh, when people are around and, and the noise and the volume uh, vacillates a lot. It's just a reminder uh, for me in a, in a small way is that most of our life has a lot of things going on and that it might be more difficult to find peace and rest than what we think. All you have to do is take a look at the news right now and uh, our world, our culture, all the things that we hear about that are happening, all the things that we are experiencing um, are vying uh, to uh, collide with this space of rest and peace. What's so interesting is that in the midst of uh, Jesus uh, comforting us and comforting his followers in John 14 and saying, I'm going to send somebody to you that's going to be a comfort for you. I'm going to give you somebody that's even more of a presence than, than I uh, have been for you. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, even as he's saying, I'm going to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit and he's going to come and be with you and comfort you. He's also giving another gift. And hopefully you notice this. I encourage you actually to go back to Sunday's sermon. Brandon Grant um, was with us and, and helped uh, walk us through this passage. But there are two gifts in that passage. One's the Holy Spirit. We've talked about that in, in various ways this week. But this other one is about peace. And I'm particularly looking at John 14, uh, verse 27. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. It's interesting that word peace. And then Jesus backs that up by saying, no, no, my peace. So there's something different there. And I don't know about you, but maybe there's a striving for peace as in rest as in comfort, as in an assurance of things um, that um, confirm that things are going to be okay in some way, shape, or form. Maybe a nebulous way to say we might all be searching for peace in our life or in our relationships. I wonder what that's like specifically for you today. When I looked up this word peace, um, one commentator said it this way. I, I want to read it. It's this book right here. But it really says it's not indicating like something that we hope happens. Jesus is promising something that is actually true that is in him. And it is this. It's that this type of peace is the absence of spiritual unrest. So maybe a way to say it is that it's absolute spiritual rest. So Jesus is promising spiritual rest and assurance of our salvation uh, in him under all circumstances. So no matter what is going on in our life, no matter the circumstance, in him, there is a peace that surpasses that circumstance, that understanding. I wonder if you've experienced that recently in your life along the way. And so it really reminds me of Philippians uh, 4. I want to flip to that. Maybe this is the prayer for us today. So here's what I want you to do. I just want you to think about something or a relationship in your life that is not rest filled or that doesn't have peace in it right now. And if you are willing, maybe just put your hands out real quick. Let me just read this over us. I encourage you to go back to Philippians 4, 7. Um, I'm actually going to read a few verses before that. Here's our prayer today when it comes to God's peace. The Lord is at hand, so do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving and gratitude, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, the peace that gives us full assurance, the peace that gives us rest, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, all circumstances, all situations, may that peace guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let it be so. Have a great Friday.